Hey Shibi Doodlers, this happens to be the fifth anniversary of my very first YouTube video. And people keep asking me what kind of pencils they should use. So uh, my first video was about pencils, uh, but I'm gonna tell you about the difference between wooden pencils and mechanical pencils. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Well, let's start with wooden pencils. And if you've seen my videos before, you know I always use these uh, Derwent graphic pencils. and. <sighs> I'm not sponsored by Derwent, but I do wear it for them, but that's because I like using their products and always have. And I've used many, many pencils in my time, and this the Derwent graphic is the one that I just like best. I, and I still try other pencils, but this is the one I like. So pencils come in lots of different uh, weights. So you're starting off with 9H. Now, H means hard. Uh, so this is going to be a really, really hard pencil. Um, and you can hear it. <laughs> and uh, and that will go all the way up to down at down at this end we have 9b which is a really really soft pencil and you will also see look the thickness this is a great chunky piece of uh, lead in there and um, that's kind of much thinner can you see there can't quite get it in focus so the standard kind of pencil that you get is is an hb that's your standard kind of school pencil. And what you have is a lead encased in a piece of wood. And if you want to know how they do that, look, I'll put a little link up here, which will take you to a video about the Derwent uh, factory, which shows you uh, how they put the, the things together. What we have inside here is not lead. This is graphite. And graphite, uh, lead is a metal. Graphite is a form of carbon. Um, and in fact, you've got, um, basically, you've got this really, really simple atomic structure uh, of layers and layers, sort of sheets of graphite, uh, one on top of each other, and they slide apart very easily, which makes them very, very soft uh, and allows them to kind of be deposited on the paper like that. I think we all get a bit funny about pencils and we, there are things that we like and uh, my latest obsession is sharpening. Uh, and I really love this uh, Coom Long Point uh, sharpeners so you sharpen on one side like that uh, until it kind of stops and you pull it out and it's kind of a bit odd at the end and then you put it in on the other side and that just sharpens the uh, the, the, the point and you get a really sharp point and you get a really long point as well this is one of the things I like about wooden pencils it's that kind of organic feel and the, the, the graphite is, is actually, it's not pure graphite. What you get is um, there's graphite and it's mixed with clay and a little bit of wax or something like that to make it smooth. Um, and, and the more clay you have, the harder the pencil is going to be. And the less clay, the softer it's going to be. It just kind of feels organic. And, and you've got the nice sharp point, but you've got all these kind of extra little things you can do with a wooden pencil and you can, it, it's just, I don't know, what would you say, more artistic? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't mean the mechanical pencil's not artistic, but I suppose this is more, more organic and free-flowing and just, I suppose, more in touch with nature. <laughs> Does that make any kind of sense? And I suppose, um, you know, it's just what you really, really like best. And you can have this really, really sharp point here. Um, so you don't really want to put it into a pocket. I suppose you can get little caps and things that you can put over and to take them with you. Otherwise, you know, put them in a tin and take them with you like that. Now, mechanical pencils, um, again, you'll know that I use rotring products a lot. When I first started as a commercial artist, sort of 30 years ago or something, more probably, um, it was the first thing it, that was all there was that's what you used uh, was rotoring um, isographs and rapidographs and things like that and i've since discovered the rotoring uh, tiki graphic which you know i love um but those are ink pens so these are uh, rotoring tiki pencils mechanical pencils and when you click the end you get a piece of lead is pushed up um through the center like that and these are this is kind of their, their cheap and cheerful range and they come in traditional rotring brown and they come in black and they come in it's kind of beige and a couple of other saucy colours. I think there's blue and, and sort of lemon yellow. So, so you can uh, be a little bit fashionable with those as well. And they come in different widths as well. So this is a 0.7. Here is a, 
a 1 and then a 0.75 you can see is slightly wider and then and then the one again is wider still uh, especially if you do it on the end like that so that was the that's the 0.7 and then that's the 0.5 this is actually looking slightly wider because that is a softer lead than this one so this is a hard lead and that is the thing again is that you get replacement leads uh, which come in these little um, things like this and and they come in different softnesses see again like the pencils uh, I don't they don't go right to 9h to 9b but uh, you'll get them in hard and HB and probably up to 2b I think so you can have a different kind of softness so so they're very very adaptable and when you need to put new leads in you pull out the end and here you've got a handy little eraser and you'll find the leads are stored inside there and all you need to do is to take out a new lead and put them in there and you can put sort of you know three four however many fit in there so you've got a good supply with you if you're going off on a sketching trip you don't need to worry about running out of pencil now these leads especially these very fine leads now look these are really really fine leads and they're going to snap really easily so these are called polymer leads and I'll just push that back in again uh, which means that they are graphite mixed with polymer and and I think kind of oil rather than wax anyway something waxy and oily um, and the polymer means that they're much much stronger than the clay uh, so that they can um, really build up strength uh, which you know if you put that kind of pressure on on a normal graphite clay lead that would just snap so uh, so these last much longer and sometimes I think if you are really really gentle with them and erase I, th I sometimes think that polymer leads actually erase better than clay graphite leads so but again when it comes to erasing pencils uh, you really want to if you know you're going to be making mistakes and needing to erase you really really do want to kind of draw lightly don't press hard because the thing is the way that graphite works is that if you draw lightly pressing hardly touching at all then you are placing graphite on the surface of the paper so it becomes easy to erase if you press hard you are forcing graphite into the fibers of the paper and then you're going to have difficulty getting rid of it and also you're pressing it into the grooves of the paper so you're actually sort of making grooves in the paper so um so that's a ticky um and then rotary go up to there's the 200 and the 300 i'm not quite sure this is the 500 um and here there's a little window at the end so you can tell yourself so we have a choice of 4h 2h h f h b b and 2b and i think you'll probably find you'll get the largest range for and this is this works just the same um, you put the leads in there and you click the end and it comes out at the end and then if you want to be really swanky go and see my previous video about the Rotring 800 this is their top of the range it's a very beautiful pencil and this has real weight to it and it just kind of feels quality it's a kind of you know gift for the person who's got everything <laughs> I suppose I have. I've got them all, haven't I? <laughs> so, um, so that's kind of the difference um, between pencils and mechanical pencils, and which you choose is entirely up to you. You would think that um, you know people doing sort of mechanical kind of drawings would choose a mechanical pencil, but that's not the case. You'll often find um, you'll often find people will be using mechanical pencils. To lay out a drawing which they, where they will then ink over um, because they erase nicely and um, and you will find you know very artistic people rather than kind of technical uh, people using them as well so it's really um, 
it's a personal kind of thing sometimes when i'm doodling and coming up ideas i just want a wooden pencil yeah i i just kind of feel more sort of connected to i don't know what the universe <laughs> or, you know the the artistic stream or whatever you call it um i just feel more connected with 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 this but then sometimes when i'm i know exactly what i'm doing and i'm coming to finish drawings um and and i need to sort of plan out underneath and i'm being quite technical about things then i i like a, a mechanical pencil and it's, it's 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 what you like and it's tools for the job so don't get hung up about you know which you should use just try everything and and see what you like for different things and you need different tools for different jobs and that comes with pencils as well and remember the main difference is here in the lead and mechanical pencils are high polymer leads and wooden pencils are clay based leads and and they work differently they feel differently i think the polymer leads kind of feel smoother and the graphite pencils just feel a little bit rougher and so you get that more kind of toothy artistic kind of feel to it just have a go play with everything you can and see which you like best well i hope you enjoyed that and i hope it helped and if you want to uh, see the flagship rotaring pencil the 800 uh, have a look at this video and feel really jealous <laughs> and otherwise uh, go and have a good look at the mystery drawing in the meantime make sure you subscribe for new drawing videos monday and friday go and visit my website and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.